Hi friends, it's Nancy from nancyferbshares.com. Today I have another showcase for you. It is the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. Ooh, I love flowers, I love gardening, so this is right up my alley. This is a lovely stamp set and the ultra fine lines here really make it delicate and beautiful. I really like this set. I've had so much fun with it. This is um, a two-step. This is the inside of the wings. And some people are confused because there's only one side, but you just stamp this side, turn it, and stamp the other side. And it it is very inexact in lining up, so it works just perfectly. I love it when I get a punch in the bundle. There are two dragonflies, and this large one matches up with both of these images. And look at this. This is so cool. This is the designer paper that goes along with this um, set of stamps and bundle. And this dragonfly matches up perfectly, and so does this little one. It's a little tipped, so I recommend um, cutting this apart and in, in punching them separately. But one sheet will give you six dragonflies. You can make incredibly fast cards. Here is a card I made with absolutely no stamping. These are the images from the designer paper, and this is one of the designer papers, a stripe, and then I put a little waist piece on the inside, but look at how cute that is. Three little self-adhesive sequins, and I'm done. I'm ready to pop it in the mail. So instant cards if you want to use the designer paper instead of stamping. We all need those fast, easy cards because sometimes we just don't have time. So let's see here with the showcase. I have eight other cards here to show you. This designer paper is so interesting and so varied. Here it is with the dragonflies and lots of greenery. This was a rather busy paper, so I punched out a circle of bee, um, bumblebee um, colored cardstock and put that behind it to just focus your eye in. This is a fancy fold that opens twice, so you have lots of places to showcase the paper. You are an inspiration. So I've got three pieces of designer paper featured in one card. And then there's another piece on the envelope. So a really cute card. Next, I used the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder and made a white brick background and used that tall bundle of flowers. Look at how pretty that is. I used Wink of Stella on the flowers, which I think really adds a little pop to it, and the sweet little ladybug. These are adorable. You just put a glue dot on the back and stick them on there, and they are very realistic looking. This woven twine is in the same collection. So I really, I like that card. I, I'm, I love flowers so this this set really took my eye here's another fancy fold this one is just cut short at the bottom and it allows you to feature another another piece of designer paper so very similar um, in design but laid out differently and this time I used a, a small dragonfly as though it were in silhouette wink of Stella on the flowers again Now you may have noticed in these um, in these cards that I sponged here instead of coloring each little leaf. I colored the flowers, put on Wink of Stella, colored the large leaves, and then I just added a little sponging to introduce the green color. Since this image was so narrow and tall, I decided I would do some slimline cards, and these are. A six by six inch square of cardstock scored in the center gives you a three by six card. And I made my own envelope. Okay, great design for a slimline card. 
Here's a super easy slimline card, no coloring at all. Here's another really fast idea. This is Seaside Spray is the soft blue and Misty Moonlight is the darker frame around it and the silhouetted um, dragonflies. This is really a fast, easy card. And I know you all have busy lives, so I like to give you some quick ideas along with the ones that might be a little step up. This technique on the 3x6 card is called um, painter's tape technique. You take a piece of painter's tape, which is low tack adhesive tape, and you simply lay it across your open stamp pad, collect the color, then you lay it onto your paper and rub it with your finger and it transfers the color in a very inexact way. So you get lots of variations, which gives it the artistic look. When I finished, it was a little too bright. You can see how bright the colors are there. So I covered it with a sheet of vellum to tone down the colors a little bit. Added my, my dragonfly silhouettes there and a couple of sequins and I was done. So these slimline cards are, are really fun. Here is another slimline and I love the way this ribbon, this is one of the in color ribbons, goes with the crumb cake. Another simple card just a dragonfly image stamped, punched out with a greeting, but very attractive. And last but not least, I couldn't resist getting out the gold embossing powder. Isn't this an elegant card? I think this would make a wonderful sympathy card. Very, very simple, elegant, exquisite. These fine lines really emboss nicely. And just with a little gold foil paper around the edge. So pretty. I have really enjoyed this stamp set. I hope you'll consider adding it to your collection. Please stop by and see me at nancyferbshares.com. You can read my tips and tricks. You can order or join my team. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.